They're planning nine of these. I'm here for it, but I hope they go in more interesting directions with better payoffs. Because to be honest, I'm underwhelmed and a little disappointed. This was just okay. The visuals are fantastic. The world is fully realized and the ape motion capture slash CGI is incredible. Raka and a few others especially looked flat out real at times. It's amazing that this series hasn't won a VFX award yet. It's actually kind of a shame. It's long overdue and I'm hopeful for it here. I also really appreciate the world building. It fully sets up the status of the world with different ape clans, mute humans, rivalries, and many more things. What's a little bit lost in translation is some of the details where some of the talking humans in the story come from. Mild spoiler alert, but the exposition becomes confusing and a little hard to follow. Breaking hard fast rules from the previous films is bold and exciting to set up new adventures, but I need more in the why of it. Maybe I just need to watch it again? The story is fine and has some intriguing details, but overall I found it a bit bland with missed opportunities at several corners. William H. Macy is one of the more fascinating parts of the story with almost no explanation and he's largely wasted on his minimal role serving to be mostly for shock value. And that was an admittedly wild moment, but the story just keeps going in directions fairly predictable save for a couple of characters such as May. She's a wild card here, once again underserved by confusing exposition but her questionable allegiances and mission provide complexity. Noah and Raka make a great dynamic, with the latter unfortunately disappearing from the film too soon after providing a ton of conviction and humor. Noah is your pretty standard protagonist, but likable, and the biblical undertones with his name become very apparent in the final act. Proxima Caesar is full of potential, but is ultimately in too little of the film for his ideology and motivations to be truly felt, and the ultimate plan and reveal is kind of disappointing. Because so many things feel underutilized and underserved, the ambitious nature falls rather flat and ends up feeling bland, which is a bit of a conundrum when the film is overlong. I found the pacing of it to be a bit of a slog, noticing where some scenes felt like they spent way too long when we should have spent it in many other places. Maybe there were just too many ideas at once at play here? Considering it feels like a huge setup for more down the road, I'm left questioning the structure and approach to this new part one of a greater story. But West Ball does great with visuals and action scenes, which are well staged and exciting, but at the same time, nothing feels like an iconic set piece that I haven't seen before. I also appreciate the tone of this film being very earnest about it all and the characters being full of conviction. It does go a long way. But that being said, I think after the last trilogy kept upping its game, especially after a rewatch, I was hoping for more, especially after the opening scene. Expectations are a dangerous thing, but I watch pretty much no trailers outside of a few seconds of a TV ad and a social media ad so I didn't even really know what this was about. I think there's a point in saying the expectations shouldn't be to expect the original trilogy, but I also think it's completely fair to say I was expecting the overall quality, intrigue, and characters and emotional storytelling to match what came before, and it just didn't quite do that for me. It's not a bad film at all, it's an enjoyable watch with good visuals, solid entertainment value, and a fascinating world ready to be mined once again, but it's also overlong, a bit bland, and imbalanced with overstuffed ideas. It was just okay. However, I am looking forward to see where they go after that ending. I give Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes three out of five stars. I'm also very curious about what titles they're gonna come up with now. Thanks for watching. Remember, always look for the good.